Rosina Thomas, the director of a Detroit housing nonprofit geared toward helping homeowners at risk of foreclosure, was arrested on the 28th of February. Why? For her role in a fraud scheme designed to steal dozens of homes from low income residents. And she even lives in one of the stolen properties. Before Ms. Thomas was charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, money laundering, aggravated identity theft, she served as director of the home ownership programs for the United Community Housing Coalition in Detroit. She joined them in 2021. U.S. Attorney Don Eisen said in a statement, quote, this scheme targeted some of our most financially vulnerable citizens and was perpetrated by an individual whose job it was to help those very people avoid losing their homes to foreclosure. I'm going to explain the scheme. The news release came from the US Attorney's Office state, uh, states during her stint as director, Thomas and others conspired to steal more than 30 properties in Detroit and other pro uh, parts of the Wayne County um, low income community. It's a scheme that targeted low income residents facing potential tax foreclosure. Now, I want you to keep that picture up. I want to remind everybody, um, the director comes in and acts as if I am the savior. Um, we are here to help. Trust me, I will set you free, okay? According to the complaint, Thomas and others allegedly perpetrated a scheme to defraud by filing multiple fraudulent um, quit claim deeds, frequently transferring the target properties from the victim owners to non-existent interim owners before ultimately selling the properties to unwitting third parties. Wow, everyone is getting played, okay? The homeowner who is facing a bump in the road, okay? The quit claim is a fraud. And then the person who purchases is unaware that they are part of the scheme. According to the uh, Department of Revenue, quit claim deeds, also known as non-warranty deeds, can be used to transfer property and clear titles, which states that sellers tend to be more willing to transfer property through these types of deeds. However, quit claim deeds offer no warranty that the grantor owns or has any rights to the transfer to transfer the property, making it a very simple dynamic. Per the complaint, Thomas or someone else also allegedly falsely notarized the fraudulent deeds to make them look legitimate, allowing them to file the fake documents with the register of deeds. There's more. The U.S. Attorney's Office said the former housing director is accused of emailing a Wayne County Treasurer's Office employee fake driver's licenses and other documents that were uploaded into the Treasury's property tax administration system to pending foreclosures. Quote, Thomas received payment for at least some of the properties via wire transfer into a bank account in the name of her realty company. And Thomas then transferred proceeds from that account to a personal bank account, the complaint states. Wayne County Register of Deeds, Bernard J. Youngblood, said that a number of complaints to his deed fraud task force and an investigation is what led to Thomas's arrest. Uh, naturally, she's not doing this by herself. It takes a few people to pull this off, but just think about how sad this is. This individual has a specialized skill set in order to help individuals who have been victimized by this predatory system we call home ownership and finance. And in the process of her job, she decides to manipulate their desperation in order to personally benefit herself. Um, individuals like this, and, and, and it, it aggravates me to no end. Individuals like this who literally, as a routine, place themselves in positions of trust to harm people who need an advocate are part of the reason why folk don't trust anybody. All right, why is any thoughts here? Uh, you just hit it right on the head with that. Um, the, the level 
of the fraud and the deception here is mind blowing. The lengths to which her, this woman went to defraud these folks. Again, some of our most vulnerable fellow citizens, um, the levels that she went to defraud these folks is mind blowing. Yeah. However, you know, the most pernicious part, man, about this is that, as you said, Folks tend to not believe that anybody wants to help them. So even people who are having it, you know, go, having the worst go of it, man, they tend to want to try to go go it on their own because there's yeah. just no faith and belief that there are genuine actors out there willing to act in um in favor or on their behalf. And these kinds of things, they just they, they just eat at the ability for genuine good actors to go out and try to help folks. And that, to me, is the saddest part about this, is that somebody who actually needs some help in the future is going to see a story like this and be like, everything's a fraud, everything's a scam, and I'm out here on my own butt naked. It's, it's really, truly sad. I highly encourage anyone who was victim of this fraud to seek legal counsel. Because the employee was, in fact, working her regular job. She was an employee. An attorney will be able to tell you the rest.